Hello, my name is Alexei Semyonov. I would like to present some considerations concerning possibility of Cooper pairing and superconductivity in the surface bands of noble metals. This work is dedicated to the memory of Professor Ernst Anatolievich Pashinsky. Recently, there have been reports about the experimental observation of superconductivity at almost room temperature in gold-silver nanostructures. In the previous experiments summarized in this paper, signatures of superconductivity, such as salt drops in resistivity influenced by magnetic field, were observed in a rather rare cases among a lot of fabricated specimens with highly divergent values of Tc, which varied during thermocycling and were very unstable at ambient conditions. But in the last report, an improved technology of atmospherically stable gold-silver mesoscopic thin film deposition was proposed with the claim of the repeated near-ambient values of Tc with moderate scattering. The essential step in this technology is chemical deposition of some iron conducting metal oxide layer with consequent implantation of argentum plus ions and thermal deposition of aurum nanoparticles of the order of 10 nanometers in size, forming a thin island film. In the case of thicker continuous fields, any signs of superconductivity were absent, as they are in the case of the bulk noble metals. Such a mysterious phenomenon motivated us to investigate theoretically a possibility of Cooper pairing and superconductivity in the nanoparticle surface states linked to the band structure of the noble metals. Here we see schematic representation of the noble metal Fermi surface in the FCC first brilliant zone. In the vicinity of the L point, effective mass is negative in the direction normal to the brilliant zone edge, hyperbolic equal energy surfaces or necks of the Fermi surface. There is a band gap for the bulk electron states in the gamma L direction due to the sp hybridization where the surface electron states can emerge. Such surface electron states were predicted by Tom as early as 1932. Here we present the simplest model explaining their existence at the 111 surface of the noble metals with rectangular potential barrier in the effective mass representation. Periodic potential inside the crystal is converted into the effective mass tensor. In this case, usual boundary condition for wave function derivatives should be replaced by the so-called bendaniel dew condition. We see that surface bend exists if the effective mass in the z direction, normal to the boundary, has different signs on the sides of the boundary, as is the case for the 111 noble metal surface. In this slide, we see dispersion of surface states experimentally observed by angle resolved photo emission in the 111 surface of copper and schematic projections of 3D brilliant zone of gold on different crystal phases and resulting 2D brilliant zones. The projections of the open Fermi surface necks are shown as shaded regions where surface states exist. For 111 phase, they emerge in the centrum of 2D brilliant zone, while for some others they also exist, but near the edge of the respective 2D brilliant zones. Here we see the brief history of the problem of surface or interface superconductivity. Idea of superconductivity in the term surface states was proposed by Ginsburg and Kirchnitz within the usual BCS scheme but with surface phonons and 2D density of electron states. Then attention was paid by Ginsburg and Bardin with co-authors 
plexitonic mechanism of superconductivity. But for the case of the bulk states reflected from the metal semiconductor interface, plasmonic mechanism was considered by Pashitsky for the interface of two semiconductors, one with the generate light electrons and another with heavy holes. Here we assume that a gold nanoparticle has interface with some non-degenerate and type semiconductor with positive effective mass, which satisfies the condition of interface electron state existence and consider bosonic interface states possible in this case and necessary for emergence of attractive electron-electron interaction. These are acoustic phenomena of Rayleigh type at the surface or Stoneleigh type at an interface polarized normally to the surface, consisting of the longitudinal and transversal parts linked by the boundary conditions and possessing the respective penetration depths. At higher frequencies, there are interface polyritons of optical phonon type and exciton or hybridized plasmon exciton type. Their dispersion and penetration depths in the actual short wavelength region may be deduced in quasi-static approximation from the following equation. Now we consider the effect of dimensional quantization in nanoparticles. If the nanograins were of a regular spherical form, they would possess a set of discrete quantum levels. The energies of the levels with orbital quantum numbers L equal n are roughly proportional to n squared with 2n plus 1 degeneracy. In a more realistic case of flattened spheroid, the degeneracy of energy levels is lifted, but the density of states possesses sharp maximum determined by the characteristic size. Such a size for the gold particle is about 10 nanometers, which gives the lower limit for the wave vectors and frequencies of the electronic and bosonic modes mentioned above. The upper limit of the relevant momentum for surface states is determined by the diameter of the neck of the Fermi surface. In the case of gold-silver experiment, the role of silver with higher electronegativity may consist in doping of electrons and filling of higher energy levels in gold nanoparticles. It is possible that energy gap between the highest partly field level and all other field levels is higher than the characteristic energy of the interaction with acoustic mode in the system. Here we see gap equation with separated highest level contribution. Constant of the electron phonon interaction has the following form. Here, due to the existence of separate highest partly filled energy level, the superconducting gap and critical temperature are proportional to the electron phonon interaction constant, contrary to the usual exponential dependence of BCS. Interaction V sub zero may be quite large in this case, as it is determined by acoustic modes whose velocity squared enters the denominator of the expression for the corresponding interaction constant. For the surface phonons, this velocity should be lower than even the transversal bulk sound velocity, while the deformational potential should be of the same order of magnitude as for the bulk longitudinal modes. Other interactions V sub i are determined by the higher energy modes, such as surface excitons or polyritons, though the corresponding interaction constants should enter the expressions for the gap and critical temperature in the same way as in the BCS theory. Conclusions. We see that the dimensional quantization of the surface states may significantly change the character of Cooper pair near the interface of the metal. The critical temperature of superconducting transition in this case should be proportional to the constant of interaction of electrons with surface acoustic modes. The high frequency modes, such as surface excitons or polyritons, may also play a role, but their contribution may be described within the usual BCS approach. It should be noted that if the Fermi level is close enough to the conduction band of the semiconductor, the penetration depth of the surface electronic wave function may be large enough to ensure percolation between the nanoparticles with the establishment of superconducting states in the whole island field. Such a situation may emerge in the experiments described above due to the doping of electrons by the silver nanograins to the gold islands. Thank you for attention.